<laughs> I know that like 90% of the time when I start my vlogs, I'm laughing about something really stupid. I'm laughing right now because I have my remote here, and in case you're wondering what my elbow's on, it's on my Oogie Fit. I don't know if it's called Oogie or Uji, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> so I was sitting here trying to be all cool and relaxed. And I was like, and I started taping a vlog and it was on standby the whole time. Um, but. <laughs> Carla. Anyway, uh, look, everything's color coordinated. Black and pink, black and pink, black and, well, pink and pink. My pants are black, you can't see them. And my shoes are, I have three pair of these, I have three pair of Nikes that I, I, I got two out of them that I love. The other one I'm like, the, the, the ones I actually don't care for, that don't rock my world, are the ones that I thought I would use for like, um, not necessarily running, more for like cross training. And in fact, what I found is I like the two that I bought that technically are for running, um, but I like them for both running and cross training, whatever. Go figure. Also, there is never a time that I put disturbed on, and I know some of you are like, you're disturbed. That's what my mom would say. My mom is queen of the really bad puns. That's where I get it. How can you not hear this music and not want to just crush it with your workout? That's it. It's time to drink my Genetics HD product placement. <laughs> Anyway, but I, it really is. Drink this before the workout. <laughs> Isn't it stupid that I am actually stopped drinking because I felt that little wire whisk that's in there coming towards me? It's not like it can fall out of that little hole, Kelly. Lots of airhead moments this morning. Anyway, so here's the thing. Oh, and the reason that I brought this, the Oogie, for those of you that haven't heard about it, Carla told me about this. Um, this is a 10 pound Oogie ball, and I like it for many reasons. I was pleasantly surprised um, how much you can do with this. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. It's a mushy, <clears throat> I'm squashing my boots right now. Um, it's a mushy ball, so not only is it weighted, oops, sorry, it's weighted and you can throw it up, and that's what I do. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a, a wall back there, and then I'll take the ball and throw it up on the ceiling, and then like, so I throw it up on the ceiling, let it touch the ground, throw it up on the ceiling, touch the ground. Really good to get your heart rate up, and it's totally working your upper body, and it is hard. It's not as easy to grab this ball, so when you throw it up and you have to really, what's the word I'm looking for? I have no idea. Anyway, so it's really awesome. Plus, you can do all kinds of exercises. Who uses that word exercises anymore? It reminded me of Step Brothers, where they're like, we can do all kinds of exercises. We've got so much room for activities. Um, but anyway, this is cool because like you can um, plank hold, putting your arms on this, try to do that. Activate your core in a big way. Um, but I brought it up here just to mention that I really enjoy adding this into what I'm doing. So what am I planning to do today? I have to pick my friend up, my BFF, uh, Laura, at the airport today. I think her flight gets in around 2.39. So I'm gonna leave around two, which means I have to be in the shower at one. It's 11.30, so I have just enough time to get a kick-ass workout in. But, that said, the fact that I'm saying it's 11.30, it's actually 11.34, and I have until one. That's a nice long stretch for a great workout. And I'm planning to do um, Kathy's, um, Kathy's, why can't I talk today? Kathy's um, Butts and Guts. And I'm gonna do one of the pre-mixes like I did last time, Mr. Flow. Look, I'm doing like bicep curls while I'm talking to you. Um, shoulders so much better. Um, but anyway, now that I said that, this is what I was thinking as I was setting up the, um, the camera here. When, it almost looked like I was gonna pick my nose, but I didn't mean to, I had an itch right here. I would not pick my nose on camera, obviously. Um, anyway, I was thinking about last night when I did when I shot my vlog, and I really didn't feel like I was just tired. 
And really, what if you're an adult past the age of like 25, what are you not tired and wishing that you could just crash or have a nap or whatever? I think that's true for most of us. But the thing is, is like, I, I've shared with you guys probably one of the biggest, I don't want to call it a failure, but the biggest lesson that I have learned over the past two years is something that was an impediment to me in, in reaching in staying active and being consistent being consistent and that was I was traveling all the time for work and I always had it in my head what I just said which is oh I've got an hour and a half for a great workout and I had it in my head that I either had to be at the gym you know because once I started training with my trainer Jay I would go if I trained the days that I trained with him we would go and he would have me warm up on the treadmill for five minutes he and I would do an hour together and then he would tell me to do you know 45 minutes on the treadmill so it was like a two-hour thing then I go afterwards and I would go usually in the steam room by the time I left my house to go work out with Jay, that was like, you know, 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back, so that's 40 minutes, plus two hours. It ended up being like a three-hour thing. And I think doing that, and then also kind of doing a little bit of overtraining and making my workouts really long at home, where I had to drag out all of my equipment, drag out my weights, make sure I had my gloves on, get my heart rate monitor on, it, it kind of put this thing in my mind that workouts had to be this big, experience and that was the only way it was a workout and you guys know that's been my thing why why did hot yoga like strike me so much and and really hit home with me because I sweat my ass off and I feel I know that there's a part of me that feels like if I'm not sweating my ass off it's not a workout that's not true um, and one of the things that I've got to get in my head and that's helping me in a situation like last night when it was 9.30, you know, and I haven't done my workout. I don't know if it's 9.30 or 7.30 or whenever. But it's the end of the day. You're tired. You're feeling like your eyes are going, you know, and all you want to do is sit down or watch TV or whatever. If, if you don't think, if you put away the thoughts that to, to get a good workout in, it has to be three hours at the gym there and back or two hour, hour and a half at home with dragging out all your equipment. Stop, that's what I did. You've got to stop making it like it's this big, huge deal. And it was Carla that really got me thinking this way, where she's like, you know, if you've got 20 minutes in between your calls, you know, because quite often my days lately have been, you know, I'll have a call at one, I'll have a call at two, I'll have a call at three, four, five, and six. Sometimes I'm going for like seven hours straight, back-to-back -back meetings. Um, and some of them will finish up early, have 20 minutes. And, and I was like, I can't fit in a workout. I work from home, people. There's no reason that I can't get up in the morning, say it's a day that I didn't follow my own directions and work out in the morning. Why can't I have my clothes on like this and do, and, and that's what Carla was saying. She goes, do some plyo, do some running in place, do some jumping jacks, do some wall sits, do some walking lunges. You know, you do 20 minutes here, 10 minutes after that call, five minutes here, and you add that every day instead of days where you would go, oh, I don't have an hour and a half to work out. I don't have two hours to go to the gym. And you did nothing. Now you're adding something. Something is better than nothing, right? You know, sometimes when you, when you start working out, we all want immediate gratification. I still do. I'm still so always looking for things to happen in, in a much more rapid manner. And you've got to remember, tell yourself if you're frustrated with your um, results, tell yourself like, okay, I'm frustrated, it's Thursday. Why haven't I lost a pound? You might be thinking something like that. Just know, we're all gonna to get to the point where we're gonna think that all this work that we're doing, whatever it is, is not making a difference. It's making a difference. You choose to go one way or the other. You can be a sloth and sit on the couch and get more mushy, um, heavier, more tired, more lethargic, or you can move in the other direction, which is I'm getting stronger, I'm getting healthier, I'm getting leaner, I'm getting tighter. I'm, you move in one direction, period. Don't think that what you're doing isn't making a difference because everybody is different. Everybody. Everybody is different. Everybody is different. Our metabolisms are different. Some people might lose weight, you know, two pounds a week all the time. Some people lose nothing, 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 and then eight weeks in, boom, it's like a flush happens. You have to believe that what you're doing is making a difference. I have to tell myself this all the time and remind myself, you know, if if I'm telling myself that I'm going to do something every single day for 60 days, and if that means 20 minutes, um, or 30 minutes on Tuesday night and Wednesday night and that's all I had but I did it, that's better than doing nothing for two days, okay? Think about all the nothings. 
If I could, if I look back and I think about all the nothing times that I did over the past two years, if I would have just done that, if I would have just did some plyo, running in place, and that's what I did last night, or is that when it was? It was last night. I started doing a workout with the intention of, I'm just gonna kick butt for 20 minutes. Guess how long I ended up working out? Not 45 minutes, 55 minutes. I kicked ass, thank you, high five. Fist pump, that's right. So that said, I've now blogged for another six minutes. It's 11.40, I'm gonna go work out and I'm not stressed that I've just used another six minutes with you because this is like special, group hug time. Um, Rotary, thank you very much for you and your friend and your um, comments about my top and how much you like it. And uh, Martin, where are you? I haven't seen you in a couple days. Hala, you're probably on like a seven day bike ride where you say, I left, I went through seven countries and I didn't stop. It's probably what's going on with you. So we'll see you soon. Everybody else have a great uh, Easter weekend. And I will be downtown tonight celebrating my birthday a little bit late, but with some of my dear, dear friends. And then we'll be back uh, tomorrow, but I'm packing my workout clothes and I might have a cocktail or two this evening. You guys know I drink like four times a year, maybe four times a day. Just kidding. <laughs> um, but I will be back and I'm bringing my workout clothes to get a workout in at the Hyatt gym before I come home. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great, I almost said Saturday. It's Friday. Have a great Friday. And uh, that's it. Talk to you soon.